Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I know a wee while ago I promised a natural everyday makeup routine. So that is what you're in for today. This is a super natural, some of the most natural makeup that I do, but I do it very often. Um, any time that I'm going out in the day, but I just want to look like myself, but like fresher and dewier and like I've slept, <laughs> then this is the routine I go for. You are forewarned, it is very Charlotte Tilbury heavy. So just letting you know that now. <laughs> But also I'm getting ready to go to an AFL game today and I thought I would try throw a little bit of that into this video because I was hoping to be able to like bring a little bit of Aussie culture into my videos and if you didn't know AFL is Australian League football and it's I'd say it's closestly similar to America's version of football which is in our terminology gridiron but Australian League football, in my opinion, is a lot harder. For comparison, the field is twice the size. So yeah, I'm not like a diehard fan, but I do love to go and it is a big part of like my own culture and my own childhood growing up. And I just thought it would be interesting to show you guys that. So I will have timestamps down below. So if you're not interested in that at all, I will leave it out. But if you are, please let me know. And yeah, I hope you enjoy today's tutorial. So let's get straight into it. My brows are already done, so they probably look a little bit crazy right now, but I will soften them up in a second but as per usual let's go in with my becca under eye brightening corrector i have the lightest shade in this and i just never do my makeup without this so why would i do it now now a tip with this product is don't put too much on um there's no <laughs> reversing that and it's really not ideal uh so as light thin application as possible and trust me you really don't need much for it to do its job i actually even personally have been going over the top with this as of recent now i'm going to go in with my charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter in the shade four um <sighs> okay so i just want to address the color match here it's going to look so crazy but because we're going for a dewy youthful glowy look I'm trying to bring a lot of color back into my face so that's why I'm going so dark also keeping in mind this is literally hardly any coverage I feel like the real benefit of this product is that youthful dewy glow that really smooths out the skin more than gives you any coverage so I'm just pointing that out go darker if this is the type of makeup that you're going for we're sick of everyone's probably sick of hearing about this but it really is that good like I've told all my friends, like, you have to, have to, have to get it. I don't love that you, like, reuse this little applicator. So it wouldn't be good if you were, like, a working makeup artist or anything. And I'm just blending that around with my JH03. Now I'm going to go in with concealer, and this is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have three shades. I know that's so annoying. And so funny, I used to hate this concealer, but... It's not my favorite concealer if you're going to set it, for, but for the look we're doing today, so natural, so radiant, I'm not gonna set anything. So, I grab the lightest shade, which is Chantilly, and I put that everywhere I want to highlight. So in here, I like to bring the corners of my mouth, my nose up. I also like to bring the corners of my mouth up, but what I've learned with this trick is you really have to get right in there into the corner and pull up or else you actually actually drag your mouth down so definitely if you're going to do this trick pull up and then center of my face center of my noodles and center of my chin then i grab my second lightest color which is madeline yep madeline 2.2 now i'm going to pop that here and here and then my final shade is merely just to add a little bit of coverage and cover up to where I have any spots so I like to cover up the centers of my cheeks I have a spot here spot here spot here spot here spot here spot here 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 and here <laughs> just everywhere and I have one on my eyebrow over here today too now I also grab this color and just Put it around that other bit i know it is a heavy concealer application but that's also just because i've got kind of dud skin today and that is the concealer application and taking my morphe e8 and blending out the under eyes first 
and I'm happy for those colors to mix a tiny bit but definitely trying to keep the brightness in the middle and the deeper on the outer. And that is the base. I love how the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter looks with NARS Radiant Creamy. It is so, so stunning. Now we're going to grab the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. I have the lightest shade, I'm fairly sure, yet yeah, fair to medium. And I, I put it just under my cheekbone, but also a little bit on it. And then lately I've also been loving that little TikTok hack where you find that pocket and just put a punch in that pocket. It really, I like it. It really does slim down the face. Then all over the forehead, because I have a ginormous forehead. <laughs> And then in, in that pocket again, and a little bit on the nose. <laughs> okay, I'm happy with that. I really love to do my jawline, especially for like a natural everyday look, because although it would be nice to have that contour, um, it's fairly noticeable in real life. So, and excuse me, this is like the dirtiest my brushes have ever been. Don't look. I like to pull taut and just buff that out. Now this product is so creamy that it just blends away without you even having to do anything really. And I just suck in while I blend out that pocket bit and just straight up the nose because we're gonna highlight it in a second anyway so we can bring the center of the nose back and how do we look see that's not me sucking in there so good okay cream blush i'm going to take charlotte tilbury glowgasm in pink gasm i do have peach gasm but in my opinion pink gasm is so much better peach gasm peach gasm isn't as pigmented in my opinion not as bright i am actually going to throw a little bit of this on my nose i find this formula to be really flattering on your nose because it's just chewy and luminous and just it really is the healthiest glow you'll ever see on your face pretty generous with that to be honest with you don't be shy and then another duo fiber brush block another duo fiber blush brush to blend that out and what i love most about that blush is somehow it doesn't affect your base at all which is just wild okay now i'm going to grab the charlotte tilbury highlight wand and this is in the shade spotlight and i'm just going to pop that on my high points i don't bring this bit down to the tip because we've already got the other two on the tip of the nose i don't like to highlight the very tip of my nose because if you're trying to shorten it like i am i'm trying to shorten the length of it i don't highlight the very tip because that will highlight its length and just popping that on my highest point of my cheekbones there as well now with this one i actually just like to tap that out with my fingers this actually isn't my favorite of all the ones and i really want to try the rare beauty liquid highlight but um it's been sold out do you know what's so annoying sometimes i go to sephora and i just have other things on my priority list and i don't buy it then and there and then it sells out and I'm like, great. Now that is essentially it. Now I'm just gonna go in with my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. Um, I only use tubing mascaras and I also like that this one I'm able to get without having to, without having to order it online. So I apply a generous amount of mascara. I'm actually happy with how my brows are looking now. Um, it's so funny what a difference putting makeup on is, but now I'm just gonna throw a little bit of brow soap on. So I'm gonna spray my brow soap and grab a little bit of that, flick it through so I can give myself a really useful looking brow. Now, because this is a very natural routine, all I'm gonna do on the lips is a little bit of pore pore. And then 
finally, if I do feel the need to powder, which I don't, but I'm going to let you know which powder specifically I would use not to take away from this look, it would definitely be the Hourglass Vanish Powder because you can powder areas and take away the overall overly oily bits but without taking away that glowy beautiful effect like that will definitely come back so i would use this i'm not going to because there's no such thing as too oily or too dewy for me this is a very dewy very very dewy look i am going to go do my hair right now and i'll be right back so this is an aerial view of the stadium and the bridge that takes you into the stadium from the east of perth the bridge was designed to resemble two flying swans, which is like that the black swan is native to Western Australia. Anagarup is the name given by the traditional landowners of the area, being the Wadjuk community, which is people of Aboriginal descent here in Australia around Harrison Island. And it means a place where the river is only leg deep, allowing it to be crossed. I actually unfortunately didn't take the bridge in today, so I don't have my own footage, but this is it lit up at night. Isn't that so pretty? And I just thought I'd give you a few more little close-ups of the stadium and what it looks like inside. They're also both very new, like within the last couple of years. <laughs> editing me now and my team lost and they lost so badly so half my team my team's the eagles by the way um my team got taken by covid and um the, the afl are trying to have the game go ahead as usual now <clears throat> so they didn't let us like forfeit that round or like play the next week so that's unfortunate um so my boyfriend's team won so at least we're happy for him but it was a thrashing also so glad I did light makeup. It was so humid and hot, oh my God. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This really is some makeup that I thoroughly enjoy. Every single product that I use in this video, I highly recommend. And this is the makeup that I just, just generally makes me feel really good about myself. So I hope you give it a whirl if you do happen to have the products and let me know if you do. Also, if you enjoyed the little bit of Aussie culture that I tried to throw in today's video, please let me know because I just think Australia is awesome. So anyway, let me know if you're interested in that or to just never do that again. <laughs> but yeah, have a great week, weekend, wherever you are, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.